a whole entire expansion pack and those are the only features we get um did i mention you could dance i'm actually really loving this sweatshirt i don't know why but it's giving very much high school years and i'm loving that hello everyone and welcome to another sims 4 news update today we are diving into the features that have been revealed for the highly anticipated sims 4 horse ranch expansion pack saddle up and let's head into it yesterday was the highly anticipated gameplay trailer for the sims 4's new expansion pack and the whole community, including myself, hoped that this would shed a bit more light into the features that are going to be coming with the pack. That was, in fact, not the case. Usually with expansion packs, we get two trailers. A reveal trailer, which is kind of a teaser. Then we have the gameplay trailer, which usually comes with a generic rundown of the main features coming with the pack without completely spoiling it. The gameplay trailer yesterday seemed to be the exact same as the reveal trailer, giving us no new information. As game devs promised in the Behind the Sims Summit. We're looking forward to sharing more gameplay on July 6th. Some simmers were clearly disappointed. During the trailer, some simmers commented. This comment says, 100% disappointment once again. This one says, here's to hoping there's more to this expansion pack than just horses, wine, and yeehaw. This was before the trailer actually started and we were quite disappointed that this was actually all that came with this pack. Also some other comments saying there's hardly any new content, game pack looks great, I thought it was going to be a massive live stream and that was a bit underwhelming. On Twitter we also got a few comments saying after that boring trailer give us the FPS drop fix and a reverse for the console control. TBZ nowhere to be found. Another user says what a cute game pack wait is an expansion pack which i guess everyone has been wondering why this is an expansion pack when it comes with like the same amount of features that would typically come in a sims 4 game pack another user comments so where's the gameplay and we have everything i've seen gave very much game pack i'm sorry but i'm not convinced i should purchase this i feel i didn't get any information that i already didn't have from reading ea's website if you want to race horses this is definitely the pack for you but nothing in it not even the nectar making or the cute sheep make me want to buy the pack at 50 percent someday maybe this is my favorite one and it says that will be 99.99 because it is really really sad how we are going to be expected to pay the full price of an expansion pack for this pack that is not coming with the expected and full features worth uh, a usual expansion pack but it seems maybe we just weren't paying enough attention to the gameplay trailer to see amazing features actually coming with this pack this is me trying my hardest to believe that there is actually more to this pack than they gave us anyways whether this pack deserves to be an expansion or not here are the features that we are sure are coming with it. First things first, of course, the selling point of this pack is horses. Horses are completely customizable, just like the pets we got from cats and dogs. In the horse ranch expansion, horse coats are fully paintable, letting you create amusing and adorable looks. You can have a horse painted from head to toe like a clown, which I for one actually find really cute. Also like cats and dogs, horses are household members, allowing them to freely roam anywhere in the world. Just like sims, horses have unique personalities and traits, making each one a distinct character which plays a big role in the next feature that i really find really interesting which is breeding horses this introduces a new layer of strategy as foals can inherit traits from their parents so choose your breeding pairs wisely another feature of horses is the amount of care that they require much like real life horses taking care of your horses is crucial they need their hooves picked regularly and their coats brushed to keep them happy and healthy and yes, you also need to handle their poop piles, but don't worry because you can save this for manure for your farms. Plus, both adult horses and foals can enjoy playing with an equine ball, adding some extra fun to their lives. Yay. <laughs> I'm totally excited for a ball that my horses can play with. I'm definitely excited for that. Mini goats and sheep have also joined the ranch, which also require daily care for their well-being. Now let's talk about the equestrian, 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 that word is hard. Now let's talk about the equestrian competitions that are going to be held at Chestnut Ridge Equestrian Centers, where your horses and riders can compete in barrel racing and jumping events. Sims can train their horses for these competitions and strive for victory. Winning these events reward you with decorative plaques that you can place proudly on your walls. Now isn't that lovely? You can grow fresh ingredients, stomp them into juice, and turn them into delicious nectar, which you can enjoy in an afternoon picnic with the cowgirls, or turn it into a thriving business. You can hire a ranch hand from the community board to assist in managing your farm, tending to both crops and your animals. I'm hoping that this also applies to the cottage living animals. Additionally, you should keep an eye on the board for any horses that are available for sale and adoption. 
last but definitely not the least i'm sure this is the greatest um feature that we are very much excited for in this new pack get ready to kick up your heels and line dance how wonderful this expansion pack introduces an exciting new type of group dance that your sims can enjoy and that is the highlight of everything <laughs> Chestnut Ridge, which is the new world coming with this expansion pack, offers breathtaking views for sims and horses to enjoy doing rides together. And that's it! Um, an entire expansion pack and that is it. I'm really hoping that I wake up tomorrow and there's like a part 2 of this gameplay trailer because I feel like that's the only thing that can redeem this. These gameplay trailers aren't always the full reveal of the features coming with the pack, so I think we are going to have to wait to the 20th of July to fully be disappointed. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I am gonna try to be positive about this. I am hoping that these aren't the only features coming with this pack and that by the time this pack is released that there are a bunch of like fun and exciting features that come with it that we can all enjoy because I do plan on doing an LP and I don't want my LP to be boring. Thank you. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like on the subscribe and youtube thinks they're gonna like this video so see if they're right and i'll see you over there good damn bye